Google Cloud enables developers to build, test, and deploy applications on Google's highly scalable and reliable infrastructure. Google Cloud Platform is a set of modular cloud-based services that allow you to create anything from simple websites to complex applications. The best thing that I like most is it gives you 300 US dollars credit to check whether you're comfortable with it or not. Hello everyone we meet again with a new topic. In this video, you are going to learn how you can set up your own web server using the Google Cloud Platform. Before getting started make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and also press the bell icon to stay in tune with my upcoming video. Open your browser and visit this site. Don't worry, I will provide the link in my description box. Now click on get started for free. Here on this page select country and accept all the terms and conditions of Google Cloud Platform. Now at this place, you have to verify your payment information. After successful verification, it will provide a panel where you can manage your server. Now at this place, we create a VM. So click on the Compute Engine. This process may take a couple of minutes. Now click Create to create a virtual machine. Give a name whatever you want. I do not want to change the region. Here select the CPU and machine type. Now here change the boot disk to CentOS 7. And set the size of the disk. Here allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Here click create to create the VM. Congratulations! We have successfully created a Linux VM on the Google Cloud Platform. Now I am going to show you how to install AA Panel on CentOS. AA Panel, a simple but powerful control panel, can manage the web server through a web-based GUI graphical user interface. AA Panel provides the one-click function such as one-click install LNMP LAN developing environment and software. Connect to your Linux server via SSH and update all the currently installed software to the latest version. So click on the SSH to connect with the CentOS terminal. Zoom it a little bit. Here type sudo su. Now update using yum update hyphen y. Here update complete. Now download and install the latest version of AA Panel. Open the official website of AA Panel. Here click on free install. Here copy this link and paste it on the terminal. It will take time. After that, it will show AA, panel internet address, username, and password. I will copy it to notepad. To access AA, panel, open your favorite web browser, paste this link. As here you see this link is not accessible. Because it needs port forward. So click on three dots. Here click on view network details. Here click the firewall. Here click on the create a firewall rule. Give a proper name, a description. Set the target to a specified service account. 
set a target service account to compute the engine default service account. Set source IP range to 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. Set second source filter to none. Here check TCP and give the required port number. By default, AA panel uses a self-signed SSL certificate so your web browser will warn you that the connection is not secure. You can accept the self-signed SSL certificate and proceed to the login screen. Here provide the username and password. In the AA panel dashboard, you can see some basic information about your system. As here you see a new pop-up appears. This is a one-click install of all useful software click as per your choice. This may take a couple of minutes to complete. After complete let's check, what can we do with it? The modules and services which you can manage through A8 panel are listed on the left panel. The setting is most useful for security purposes. Here you can modify the username password and port number just click modify. In the website section, you can manage your website. Click add side to add a new website. If you need a proper video for 8A panel just comment below in my description and don't forget to link share and subscribe. We will meet again with a new topic. See you then.